chapter 66. Thus said Jehovah, The heavens are my throne, and the earth my footstool. Where is this, the house that ye build for me? And where is this, the place, my rest? And all these my hand hath made, and all these things are an affirmation of Jehovah. And unto this one I look attentively, unto the humble and bruised in spirit, and who is trembling at my word. Whoso slaughtereth the ox smiteth a man, whoso sacrificeth the lamb beheadeth a dog, whoso is bringing up a present, the blood of a sow, whoso is making mention of frankincense, is blessing iniquity. Yea, they have fixed on their own ways, and in their abominations their soul hath delighted. I also, I fix on their vexations, and their fears I bring in to them, because I have called, and there is none answering. I spake, and they have not hearkened, and they do the evil things in mine eyes, and on that which I desired not, fixed. Hear a word of Jehovah, ye who are trembling unto his word. Said have your brethren who are hating you, who are driving you out for my name's sake. Honored is Jehovah, and we look on your joy. But they are ashamed. A voice of noise is from the city, a voice from the temple, the voice of Jehovah, giving recompense to his enemies. Before she is pained, she hath brought forth. Before a pain cometh to her, she hath delivered a male. Who hath heard anything like this? Who hath seen anything like these? Is earth caused to bring forth in one day? Born is a nation at once? For she hath been pained. Zion also hath borne her sons. Do I bring to the birth, and not cause to bring forth? saith Jehovah. Am not I he who is causing to beget? I have also restrained, said thy God. Rejoice ye with Jerusalem, and be glad in her, all ye loving her. Rejoice ye with her for joy, all ye are mourning for her, so that ye suck, and have been satisfied from the breast of her consolations, so that ye ring out, and have delighted yourselves from the abundance of her honor. For thus said Jehovah, Lo, I am stretching out to her peace as a river, and as an overflowing stream the honor of nations, and ye have sucked, on the side ye are carried, and on the knees ye are dandled. As one whom his mother comforteth, so do I comfort you, yea, in Jerusalem ye are comforted. And ye have seen, and rejoiced hath your heart, and your bones as tender grass do flourish. And the hand of Jehovah hath been known unto his servants, and he hath been indignant with his enemies. For lo, Jehovah in fire cometh, and as a hurricane his chariots, to refresh in fury his anger, and his rebuke in flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword doth Jehovah do judgment with all flesh, and many have been Jehovah's pierced ones, those sanctifying and cleansing themselves at the gardens, after Ahad in the midst, eating flesh of the sow, and of the abomination, and of the mouse, together are consumed, an affirmation of Jehovah. And I, their works and their thoughts, I come to gather all the nations and tongues, and they have come and seen my honor, and I have set among them a sign, and have sent out of them those escaping unto the nations, Tarshish, Pool, and Lud, drawing bow, Tubal and Javan, the isles that are far off, who have not heard my fame, nor seen mine honor, and they have declared mine honor among nations. And they have brought all your brethren out of all the nations, a present to Jehovah, on horses, and on chariot, and on litters, and on mules, and on dromedaries, unto my holy mountain Jerusalem, said Jehovah, as the sons of Israel bring the present in a clean vessel into the house of Jehovah, and also of them I take for priests, for Levites, said Jehovah. For, as the new heavens and the new earth that I am making are standing before me, an affirmation of Jehovah, so remain doth your seed and your name. And it hath been from month to month, and from Sabbath to Sabbath. Come do all flesh to bow themselves before me, said Jehovah. And they have gone forth, and looked on the carcasses of the men who are transgressing against me. For their worm dieth not, and their fire is not quenched and they have been an abhorrence to all flesh. The end of the book of Isaiah.
from the Young's Literal Translation of the Bible. Recording by Mark Penfold.